How's it going guys? Today's video is about EMF shielding. This is for Ruth. It says, hi, I just bought a $300 sauna. I saw your video after the purchase, very depressing. Well, I don't know why you'd be depressed. If you get a sauna for 300 bucks, you should be elated. <laughs> However, I was wondering what your thoughts are on installing EMF shielding fabric over the panels. Do you think that would block the EMF but still get the infrared health benefits? I look forward to hearing your thoughts on the matter. Thanks for your time, Ruth. Well, Ruth, um, this is a complicated question, but hopefully I can give you a simple answer. Uh, first off, if you got a sauna for 300 bucks, I would just be super happy with it and use it. Um, it sounds like that was a really great deal. You didn't mention what it was, so it would be in impossible for me to kind of guess. Um, you know about the pros and the cons or the potential EMF levels uh, without knowing what the brand is. But um, like I say, the if you got a sauna for 300 bucks, I would use it and be super happy that you have it because not a lot of people stumble across a find like that. Um, even if it's a high EMF sauna, you could use it for a little while and it'll get you by until you could save some money and get something else for the long term. Uh, there are tons of people that do that. They get used stuff off of Craigslist. As far as um, putting EMF shielding fabric over the panels. I, you're probably not gonna like my answer. I would say for the average homeowner, it's a waste of time. So it's, it's a super long, complicated answer for me to explain the details, but in a nutshell, EMF shielding fabric is generally a metallic um, you know, weave that is meant to reduce RF radiation, which would be cell phones, Wi-Fi routers, things like that. You could ground that and create a, a grounded porous cage and that would block electric fields from the heaters if you if you skin the heaters with it uh, you would have to ground it though for it to work it won't do anything unless you ground it that will block electric fields to an extent it uh, depends on how tight the weave is as to how much it'll block but it's not going to do anything for magnetic fields so if you have a high magnetic field which is the milligauss reading um, there's no way that you can block those they either have to be mitigated from the factory or it would just be way too much work and a complete waste of time for a, for a homeowner to try to uh, retrofit a sauna. There's no shielding fabrics that block magnetic fields. The only thing that I know of that blocks magnetic fields would be um, G-iron or gyron, some people say. You can, you can find it at like less EMF, it's just G and then iron, I-R-O-N. But basically it is a solid lead material, kind of like an x-ray blanket that you would wear over your genitals or something like that to protect or protect fertility when you get an x-ray but the reason that i'm telling you this is because if you put anything like that over the heaters renders the sauna useless you know it's not a that's why i say it's it can get really complicated there's probably a way that you could do it but you'd end up tearing the entire sauna apart you'd have to have a suite of tools and even then the technical aspects of it just it wouldn't be worth the time and I would just do the, what I said in the very first sentence. I would just enjoy your $300 sauna, uh, get some sweating in, get some detox going, and uh, just really, oh, you did say, oh, I'm so sorry. You said $300 radiant sauna. Ah! <laughs> you said the brand and I just skipped right over it. I'm so sorry. Um, depends on which radiant sauna it is. If it's, um, you know, there's some bad ones and there's some not so bad ones, they're all, you're never gonna see one of those on a radiant sauna list or the certified sauna list unless it's a uh, radiant health sauna, but it's probably a radiant sauna from Amazon. Um, if it is a, well now you've got me thinking, now maybe the whole video is a waste of time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> maybe it's the tent, um, maybe it's the portable little tent thing. Did I buy one of those a couple of years ago? Maybe I did, maybe that's what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. Thought you were, I thought you were talking about a, a wooden stand-up sauna and I guess I just read the, um, read the question too fast. Maybe the, what I said doesn't even apply to you. I, I really apologize. If you're talking about the, you saw my video after the purchase. You might be talking about the Rejuvenator. I think I bought, I don't know if it's made by Relax or Radiant or one of those companies. I think it's, it's called a Rejuvenator. Um, and it's a little portable black thing that you zip yourself up in, your arms stick out, a little portable tent. If, if that's the one that you're talking about, yeah, the EMF levels are, are not something that I like or would wanna use, but if you, if you can return it and you can afford it and you can get something else, obviously that would be solution number one. If you can't, um, it can get you by. There's a lot of people that just are in apartments and they don't have a lot of room for a, a, a different sauna or a style of sauna 
or you know money is an issue or money's really tight and they just can't afford right now to buy a, a, a more expensive sauna and they use those for six to eight months and they're all right. I mean, it's not like it's gonna kill you. It's just people who are generally fighting chronic illness or are EMF sensitive generally don't wanna use something like that. But if you're a relatively healthy individual, um, you know, I think that would be fine. Now I'm all over the place with this video and I don't know if it's a complete waste of time for you or not. Um, no matter what, I wouldn't bother with the EMF shielding fabric. If um, <laughs> if you want to send me another email and clarify some of the, the sauna details, I can always make you another video. Um, hopefully this was helpful in some way uh, for somebody though. Have a great day, Ruth. We'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.